Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on Forgotten Weapons. I'm Ian, I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction House taking a look at some of the interesting guns that they have coming up for sale in their April 2015 premiere auction. And they have one here that I can't figure out anything about. I don't know anything about its history, I don't know who made it, um, but, and it's an unusual looking pistol. So I couldn't pass up the opportunity to take a closer look at this and who knows, maybe one of you guys watching the video will recognize this from somewhere or have some brilliant insights into where it came from. So let's go straight into bringing the camera back here and taking a closer look at this little guy. All right, this is clearly someone's shop experiment prototype gun. This screw conceals a, or uh, contains a guide rod and a recoil spring inside a channel underneath the barrel. And the breech block is this whole component which pivots backwards it's a fairly strong recoil spring. So it pivots backwards like this. Now these, there are two legs, one on each side, that come down, all the way down through the grip and end right about here. You can, if I take the magazine out, there's a magazine release here on the front of the, the grip. You can kind of see right inside there, that's the end of the leg on that side. And there's one right there on that side. So you can just see those pivoting a little bit when, when this goes back and forth. In fact, you can see it through the space between the grip and the frame there, sliding back and forth. Now the hammer on this doesn't really, well, it doesn't work. Um, I can close it if I fiddle with it just right like that. Now even when it's dropped like this, there's clearly some part missing inside there between interacting between the hammer and the firing pin. What another interesting element to this is if you look at this brass colored spring, it is kind of latched up inside, hooked inside the hammer right there. What I suspect, I'm not able to take this whole thing apart. Some of these screws are loose and will come out, but a couple of them are pretty well seized. They're very tight and this being an item for sale, I don't want to cause any damage and I don't have any time to do something like soak it in oil to free it up. So finding out exactly what's inside here will be the privilege of whoever wins this at auction. At any rate, what I suspect is that this is actually a wound up coil spring uh, intended to power the hammer. So it's got one end latched into the hammer and when the hammer is cocked back, it has wound up that whole coil spring to put tension on the assembly. Um, that's, that's pretty much everything about this pistol. You can see it has dual extractors. Uh, the firing pin is all is stuck forward. I suspect that's partly due to whatever component is missing out of the back of the, the firing mechanism. And there's our guide rod. Obviously there's a spring inside there because it's quite tight. Magazine, I expect this is in 32 ACP. Magazine slides in nice and smoothly, latches in place well. I'd be really curious to have known what this uh, pistol designer had in mind, or as far as I know, this never, this was not the basis for any finished pistol that I've ever seen or heard of. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this will spark some creative interest in someone to figure out how it works, or maybe you'll decide you want to build something like this yourself and try it out. If you'd like to actually own this one, take a closer look at it. Maybe uh, you can soak some oil into a couple of these screws and get all the pieces apart and really see the insides. Well, you have the option to buy it. It's coming up for sale here at Rock Island Auction. And uh, if you click the link right below in the description text, that'll take you to their catalog page on it. Take a look at their pictures and their description, which doesn't really tell you a whole lot of information because nobody really knows much about this thing. At any rate, you can place a bid online and if you're the lucky winner, it'll go home with you. Thanks for watching.